Hey Capricorn, hope you guys had a good weekend. So this read is going to be for you guys. So we'll start with the oracle cards and we'll see, see what the universe has in store for us today. So universe, what messages do you have for Capricorn? You have some advice, some guidance on this journey in life. Maybe some warnings, some affirmations. Ooh, and they're starting to feel like they're jumping all around. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. That's usually her cue to me. So I pulled light, conflict and defeat, deception and envy, new beginnings, and triumphant success. So just from the cards that I've gotten so far, um, I definitely feel like um, we're choosing to leave some negativity behind and to start a new path in life, start a new chapter. I got shadow, mental conflict, trapped in fear, emotional loss, and patience and planning. I'm really getting um I'm getting a relationship vibe from these cards um, that we're talking about a romantic relationship here that I feel like has come to an end. I'm feeling like it was pretty rocky too towards the end. I don't know that it was rocky the entire time. Um, but definitely it was it was building towards uh, towards the the separation here at the end of things so I have the six of swords uh, which tends to represent moving from um, a stormier time into a calmer time and so I think that also speaks of how this relationship was towards the end I also feel like I feel like that's that's how it ended as well like it was it was a I don't know that it was one big fight I think it happened maybe over a couple days or over a week and it was a lot of emotional upheaval and now that the split has happened I feel like things are starting to calm down I have the hanging man here and he tends to represent, to me, uh, letting yourself get hung up or stuck uh, in a negative mindset or, or emotions that holds you back from your goals. I have the Knight of Pentacles and he speaks of something that you've been working towards coming to fruition. I got him on top of the patience and planning. I also have the Ten of Pentacles, which can speak of abundance, but it can also speak to the buying or selling of a home. So I almost feel like this might be part of your fresh start in moving forward. That you are, you are looking at a new home. I have the Sun card as well. And the sun card tends to be a good omen card for me and represent positive things manifesting. And I feel like it ties in to this ten of pentacles. So I feel like there's, it's very much going to be a new beginning for you, not just um, in dealing with all the emotions, but I feel like there's going to be a new home in there as well. So I have the Ace of Cups, uh, which also tends to represent new beginnings. It can sometimes speak to a relationship, but I don't get that vibe in here. To me, to me, it speaks of you healing from the wounds of the relationship and building back up um, your self-esteem and your self-worth. I kind of feel like it's not quite done yet even. So I pulled the Devil card here. And it usually represents a person uh, with a destructive or manipulative energy. I think it's um I think it's speaking to this 
this relationship that you're trying to move from. I feel like you guys still have contact or will still have contact. So it's still like, it's kind of dragging out there where it's like pulling off a band-aid really slow and you can feel every arm hair that rips out along the way instead of ripping it off in one go and stepping away. To me, this speaks of, of it's being drawn out. I also have the devil next to the eight of swords and, and that's what makes me think that as well. And the eight of swords tends to represent um, having trouble finding clarity in a situation, uh, having trouble finding truth, uh, being stuck in your own emotions as well and negative emotions and thoughts. So I feel like it ties in um, to stepping away from this relationship and really cutting ties. I have the hermit card, which represents introspection. And I feel like that might be what you're going to have to do here to find your way to, to being able to, to sever these ties. I feel like you're going to have to step back from emotion and really do some deep thinking, some soul searching, maybe reflecting on the events in this relationship um, in a new way, in a, logic way, a logical way, because sometimes we look at things and all we remember are the good times when there was actually a whole lot of really bad ones and there was sort of a build up in signs along the way of which way it was going. And I feel like you're missing those and that's why you're conflicted. I feel like if you can look at it from a more logical point of view, um, you'll be able to see that it wasn't, it wasn't a good match. It wasn't beneficial. And I think it will allow you to move on. And I believe the emperor speaks to that as, as well. Because when I look at him, I see, I see that, that logical, rational side of things that has nothing to do with emotion. And I see clarity in that as well. I have the two of swords here too. And the two of swords um, also speaks of having trouble making a choice and feeling deadlocked, um, trouble finding clarity. I have it next to the page of swords. When I look at the page of swords, I see, um, I see dishonesty. I don't know that it's open dishonesty, but it, blurs the situation. It blurs the truth of the situation. I think it's speaking of this relationship as well. And I almost feel like it speaks of um, this person because I feel like there's still contact or there's going to be contact. And maybe that they're looking at things the same way too, that they just remember the good times and not, not that this relationship wasn't, wasn't working. And I feel like they might try and use that on you to maybe confuse you even further. So definitely going to want to going to want to step back from emotion and look at things in a very logical way um, to find your clarity in all of that. I have the Empress here and to me she speaks of um, nurturing this new life. I did get her on top of the Ace of Cups, uh, the new beginnings. So she, to me she says to nurture this new beginning of you moving forward, of you starting a new chapter of your life. I have the Nine of Pentacles, which speaks of abundance. Um, and I think she speaks of happiness. So I don't know that she speaks entirely of, of finances. I think, I think they're included in it. But I think more importantly, it speaks of, of an inner happiness. And I believe that this line of cards also speaks of this person coming back and trying to muddy the waters with you. So I have the King of Swords and I have a very um, dishonest vibe coming off of him. And the Knight of Swords, which is sometimes called the Stalker card. So I feel like this person's gonna come back. Uh, this person's gonna try and spin some truths to confuse you, you're gonna feel extremely overwhelmed and having a hard time uh, seeing your way through it. To me, the two of wands represents you having to choose a path. And I think that's what it's gonna come down to. And you're gonna have to put some finality behind that.
Okay, and then in this line I have the Hierophant. To me, he represents a higher learning. And he, I feel like he ties in, um, he ties in with the Hermit and he ties in with, with the Emperor and being able to do that soul searching and looking at things from a logical point of view and finding clarity. And then I feel like it's going to take you some fire. It's going to take you a lot of assertiveness to stand up and stand your ground and say what you need to say to this person. And like I said, I think you're going to have to put finality to the end of this relationship. I believe that that is what's going to be you looking after your own emotional needs and what's good for you emotionally. And I believe that you're going to have a lot more happiness and abundance in your home life because of it. So I pulled victory and success, prosperity begins, patience, and I have the base chakra which can speak to the physical body or money. So I feel like it also speaks, um, I feel like it speaks of money in this and speaks of this house, this house purchase and the success of it. To me, it that's the vibe that I get off of it. Prosperity begins for me, um, ties in with the new beginnings and taking back control of your life and choosing your path and choosing a path um, that's going to be more fulfilling for you, that's going to give you more happiness. Um, patience to me speaks of the time it'll take to heal from all of this and putting putting the time into yourself and allowing yourself to heal. Uh, victory and success to me speaks of you prevailing over the situation over this this toxic old relationship, being able to let it go, to walk away and start this new chapter of your life. Alrighty guys, that's what the cards are saying to me to get today. I hope you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I love hearing from you guys. Take care.